In the last video, we have built a 3D model house based on an imported floor plan. In this episode, we'll add some furniture and try to do some renderings. Let's go to furniture plan. In this view, you can quickly add furniture such as sofa, chair, and beds. Simply drag and drop furniture from the left side panel and put it on the plan. You can of course scale or rotate the furniture using the handlebar. Let's quickly populate more furniture onto the plan. Note that not only furniture, but you can also place kitchen counters, toilet accessories, and also plants and carpet as well. There is a wide range of options in the furniture symbol library. After finish laying out the furniture plan, the cool thing is, you can then ask Google Home to automatically replace 2D furniture on the plan with 3D models from the library. Let's go to 3D view by pressing number 3 on the keyboard. Now we have a schematic design filled with furniture. And again, if you don't like the looks, you can replace and choose from thousands of models from Google Home library. Note that models in your viewport are just proxies, they will look even better when you render. Let's add more models and make some tweaks about our design. Drag the window on the upper right corner to look at a model in both 2D and 3D view. And when you switch between 2D and 3D, the window will automatically switch as well. When you can't find a model you like from the library, you can always upload and import custom objects and textures. First, click Save and exit the project. Let's go back to the project platform. Go to Personal Library. You can download models from lots of sites online. I've added those links to the website under the description of the video. In this case, we have downloaded a zip file that contains 3ds Max model and the texture maps. While uploading, Choose a category that is extremely important as it will affect how important objects behave. For example, a floor furniture will automatically snap on the floor. Once it's done, you will see a preview of a model imported. Then go back to our project. Go to my account, upload, and place it in. Cool Home also supports SketchUp file, however, the texture might look flat or at wrong scale. But no worries, you can change the material using material editors. Choose any pattern of fabrics from Cool Home's library. You can also edit a scale in the property windows. Similarly, you can swap and change materials for other existing models as well. Let's add some lighting fixtures on the reflected ceiling plan. Press keyboard 2. Drag and drop lighting fixtures from the model library. And now the model is ready to render. In the next video, we're going to start rendering.